Experts say that this year's fire season will likely be active, like last year due to heavy winter rain, leading to a lot of vegetation. But firefighters will be getting an extra hand in that firefight. Team 12's William Pitts joins us with an exclusive look at how a crew of inmates is gearing up to help. Fire crews could be stretched thin, especially with the coronavirus taking some crews out of commission. One of the fire crews that's been all over Arizona and is ready to help out again this season is a team of inmates working to protect the state that's holding them in jail. Keep one foot in the black. The black, the part of the wildfire that's already burned. It's a firefighter's safe spot, a place to retreat when things get too hot. The Superstition Wildfire crew is made up of inmates from Florence Prison. They volunteer, then work hard to make the squad and to stay there. You can get off the yard for a certain amount of time, camp out places, and, and you know, have a better band of brothers to be around. Stephen Minton has two years left on his sentence. I ended up going to sell somebody drugs, and they, uh, they ended up being a cop. Stephen went away for drugs and guns. When you're wearing orange, you have a certain image that's already looked upon you, you know. Here, everyone wears yellow. There's no telling the inmates from the civilians. Alcohol, alcohol is a major problem for me. Brandon Smith has a three-year sentence for aggravated assault. College on hold. His family on the Navajo reservation. They can't get to Florence much. But when he joined the fire crew, he found something he'd been missing. It's taught me a lot of integrity. It taught me a lot of... A lot about myself. The crew can be gone for weeks at a time, doing backbreaking work. It doesn't take time off their sentence. But somewhere in the heat, the flames, the endless days of building fire lines, the Superstition Fire Crew became a family. We get real grouchy. We, we get, learn to live with their grouchiness, and we, we, we kind of bond to one another. It just, it just pops in my head that these guys are my brothers. And, I feel good about it. Brandon gets out of prison next year, and then the real test, staying out. I know I lost a lot of good people, a lot of family while I was away, and I know I'm going to catch up. Hopefully when I get out, I'll go to a crew, maybe a shot crew or maybe an engine crew. Keep one foot in the black. It's safe because it's already been through the fire and come out the other side. Brandon and Steve hope that when they're finally free again, they can keep grounded and keep one foot in the black. William Pitts, 12 News. All right, well, thanks.